Ventricular contraction causes the atrioventricular valves to close, which signals the beginning of ventricular systole. The semilunar valves were closed during the previous diastole and remain closed during this period. Continued ventricular contraction increases pressure in the ventricles above the pressure in the aorta and pulmonary trunk, causing the semilunar valves to open. When the ventricles relax and their pressures drop, blood flowing back toward the relaxed ventricles causes the semilunar valves to close, which is the beginning of ventricular diastole. Note that the atrioventricular valves remain closed. When the pressure in the ventricles becomes lower than the pressure in the atria, the atrioventricular valves open and blood flows into the relaxed ventricles. This accounts for most of the ventricular filling. The atria then contract and complete the ventricular filling. <laughs>